The head of the D.C. Police Union telling Congress the district is in a self-made crime crisis because of anti-police policies passed by the D.C. Council. It came during a hearing focusing on the impact crime on Capitol Hill is having on congressional operations and visitors. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald is on the Hill. Fitz, it's a local problem getting a lot of national attention. Yeah, you know, the city under siege isn't only a concern of people that live here. Around the United States, they're paying attention to what's going on here. And, you know, Capitol Hill is really two things. Yes, it's the seat of the government and the location of the U.S. Capitol, but it's also a neighborhood. People live here. People walk their dogs and their kids around this neighborhood. And the crime here is starting to get the attention of the Congress in a big way. Because as we've told you, members of Congress, their staffers, they have been the victims of carjackings, of muggings, of stabbings in some cases. And a lot of people are starting to wonder, when is it going to end? So while the crime stats early in 2024 right now are down, that's done a little to assuage the concerns around here. So up on Capitol Hill today, there was a hearing looking at the increasing happenstance of the U.S. Capitol Police having to respond to local crime in and around Capitol Hill neighborhoods. Now, remember, the primary mission of the U.S. Capitol Police is to protect the U.S. Capitol building itself and Congress. It's a national security issue. However, during this hearing, the head of the D.C. Police Union told five members of the Congressional Committee today that there is a crisis underway right now and that the D.C. Council has a, quote, negative attitude towards its police department. The council does not like police officers. They do not want them doing police work. They don't want them making arrests, and they certainly don't want them getting out and stopping and investigating people. This is infuriating. It's, it's absolutely infuriating. We're allowing a city council to let havoc be wreaked in this town because they don't like law enforcement. Okay, Fitz, I see it's on Capitol Hill. You have Congress there. They're talking about the D.C. government. I get it. But how come there were no officials from D.C.'s government actually testifying today, like Councilmember Charles Allen, who represents the ward where the Capitol is located? Yeah, well, it wasn't for a lack of invitation. In fact, the chairman of the House Administration Committee at the top of this hearing today said not only did he invite Council Member Allen, who was you know, the Ward 6 council member, and that, that is actually where the U.S. Capitol building is located, but he invited also uh, the, US, uh, the uh, U.S. Attorney of D.C., the Attorney General of D.C., Metropolitan Police Department. None of them showed up. You know, uh, Councilman Allen's spokesman got back to us today and we asked him why wasn't he here you know it's a hearing about local crime in this ward why wasn't the council member here uh the spokesman came back to us with a statement and in part said that the council member believed it was u.s police capital chief manger who was best suited to comment on security and safety of members of congress